Wait, they have a full-blown character creator? Are you serious? Ah, perfect. Start your even more exciting career as law enforcer on Europe's fastest road, now with the successor to the popular Autobahn Police Simulator. For the first time in Autobahn Police Simulator 2, you can use the character creator to customize your own in-game character. It was developed by Z Software and released in 2017. This game must have been part of a sale and I probably bought it as a joke. Uh, I mean, it's called Autobahn Polizei Simulator 2, for fuck's sake. The fact that it's made by a basically no-name German studio, uh, the fact that they thought that this is an acceptable name, not, not only for a product, but also a product that is a game, uh, the fact that the game description says nothing about the game and instead just keeps circle jerking itself, everything about this is trashed here, so that's pretty much what I'm expecting out of this. If this turns out to be even a mid-tier game, I would be pleasantly surprised. Um, yeah. Viewer discretion is advised. Bad boys, bad boys. Who you gonna call? The devs of this game must love alcohol. Bad boys, bad boys. What's it gonna be? I can't sing for shit, neither can Cardi B. Autobahn Polizei is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are guilty until proven innocent in the court of law. What the hell is even that? Can I help you, son? Why are you sitting in my police station? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What's wrong with your face? Hello. Hi. How can I help you? I'd like to see Mr. Becker. He's the boss around here. Perhaps you can make do with rank and file workers first. No, that's a lot of damage! He's the boss. That's exactly why I want to talk to him. Who do you think you are? What? Bitch, I will slap your left ass cheek. I'm your new colleague, and I have an appointment with your boss. Does he know how you behave around here? Got he! Okay, okay. No harm meant, I'm sorry. Someone could have told me that you were starting here today. I'll open the door for you to find the boss, go up the stairs, and then left. It's closed. Good. As long as I'm here, nobody gets in or out. You hear me? Nobody. Try me, bitch. Can I get? Oh, yes, I can. I'm not sure what cells are supposed to look like, but these look funny, yeah. Oh, what happened to the camera? Okay, Becker is upstairs. What's downstairs? What? You can't be a police officer looking like that. Are you smoking weed down here? <laughs> she, she looks kind of... <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't use any of these. I have to um unlock them, I guess. Upstairs, looking for Becker. Na, Jungs, alles okay? Wieder ein paar Ausländer verprügelt? Ha! Lady, are you okay? She just stands there. It looks so dumb. Why don't they just put her behind the desk? He's also just standing there. Ah, so you're Mr. Schmidt. Yes, that's me. Oh, it's God. a pleasure. You're ten minutes late. A wizard is never late. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. All right, then. For future reference, I hate unpunctuality and sloppiness of any kind. Now, this guy's this. German for sure. Uh, fünf Minuten vor der Zeit ist des Deutschen Pünktlichkeit. And you're going to be spending a large part of your life in your patrol car from now on. I do not tolerate negligence. Do your job properly and don't act the hero. Then we won't have any problems. <laughs> What's wrong Understood? with this mode? Understood, Mr. Becker. All right. Welcome to the force. And before you start, go and see Miss Holt. Her office is next door. <laughs> Miss Holt. She is responsible for press and public relations here. If anything goes wrong here, she's the one who sorts it out for us. I hope you have no need to make use of her talents. But oh, I, I will be in need of her talents, all right? Uh, I have definitely not slapped anyone's butt cheek yet, and I would never do it. Hello, and welcome to our station. Hello, Mrs. Hort. Were you expecting me? No, no. No, 
Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. But the wall isn't all that thick. So you were eavesdropping? Isn't that illegal? So upset. I was only ten minutes late. Worse things have happened. Three things you should know. Okay. Firstly, Mr. Becker only means well. The police station, the people here, and our work are very important to him. Secondly, I work very closely with Mr. Becker. I tell him what's going on at the police station. And thirdly, I like turtles. You're right. I don't know what got into me. Well, now you know. And now head up and get out there on the roads. You better go to the changing room on the ground floor and get changed. You'll find your partner there too. His name is Hans Harts. You don't just want to spend <laughs> your first course. day chit chitting, right? Hans. Of course not. Thank you. Can I just say, you have a very slappable butt cheek. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> It's empty. <laughs> okay, here we go. So you're the rookie. I'm Hans, your partner. Pleased to meet you. Partner. Yeah, likewise. We'll have enough time to talk in the car, so let's get going. What's let's with these mouth the animations, car. man? You can drive. It's nice to be chauffeured around at my age. Hans, bring your gun. You're going to need it. Grenades too. Oh, Hans can teleport. Nice. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The physics are going to be terrible. Red light, no problem. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> No problem, no problem, no problem. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm not sure where I'm going. Move, bitch! <laughs> you have been teleported back to the police station. Wait, what? Wait, do I have to do everything again? Are you serious? I'd like to see Mr. Becker. Oh my god, what? I'm already wearing the uniform and everything. Why do you reset the game without resetting the game? What? And Hans isn't even here. So you're the rookie. I'm Hans. Okay. Your partner. How come? Uh, why, why are you standing out here, Hans? We'll have enough time to talk in the car, so let's get going. Yo, move on. There's nothing to see here. Good afternoon. What's happened here? Can't you see? The time. Can't you right? see? Uh, hey, listen here, you, you, you bloody, you, you bloody, you. You fucking, fucking, you bloody, you bloody, you bloody. I only saw it at the very last moment and drove over it. Have you called a towing service? Yes, they're on their way. Okay, please step behind the crash barrier and wait for the breakdown vehicle. I'll take care of the board full of nails. Yes, will do. Thank you. Miss, step behind the barrier. Miss? Quickly, quickly, quickly! Oh my god, this trashed your camera, man. What, what's wrong with the camera? I don't get it. Jesus. Okay, so this is the culprit. I'll remove it. Wait, did she just GTFO? What the hell? There's something very wrong with the camera and I have no idea what it is. Oh, that's my desk. Yeah, that's my desk. Let's go. Here you can spend the influence points you have earned. Each of these expansions brings you various benefits which have an impact on your vehicles, the police station or personal characteristics. So up yeah, basically upgrades, okay? Okay, so I can upgrade the station. <laughs> Coffee machine. <laughs> Improves the atmosphere of the office. That's awesome. <laughs> They're just standing there. What the hell? Have you been standing all day and night? You, go away. Or you're next. 
Show me your license and registration, please. Oh, God. Thank you. His I'll eyes. Ah. Ah, it's, um, um, basically a copy of papers, please. Eh, I guess that's fine. It's better to copy something that's good than to, um, make your own camera controller. Okay, so, uh, you have been randomly selected for an alcohol test. Have you been drinking? No, I haven't had anything to drink. We'll see about that. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, what about drugs then? Have you taken any drugs? No, of course not. What do you take me for? You are a peasant. Eye movement is noticeably slow. This individual has been using drugs. The individual... Why is the third option on the right and the second one is below the first? Who made this? Ah, whatever. Yeah, she's not drunk. Partially correct diagnosis. What? <laughs> Take to custody. <laughs> the first time you're eliminated. Wait, what? What do you mean incorrectly? Oh, I was not allowed to do it. Okay, that's cool. I mean, what is she going to do? Go to the police? <laughs> Wait, what? The car keeps driving when you open the menu? Are you serious? <laughs> Hello, boss. You wanted to speak to me? Yes, I want to give you a special task. We've been having problems with the stone thrower here for a few weeks now. A stone he thrower? You mean a catapult? Don't you know that the trebuchet is the superior siege weapon? Search for clues at the last crime scene. I want to get my hands on this fellow. You might find mm, I also want to get my hands on this fellow, if you know what I mean. Keep me informed if you come across anything interesting. <laughs> Reject. <laughs> of course, sir. I will slap his ass so fast. Okay, check this out. It's uh, 12 o'clock. The driving distance is 15 kilometers and I'm driving about 200 kilometers an hour. How long do you think will it take to reach the destination? Sounds easy, right? 200 kilometers per hour, so about 18 seconds per kilometer. That times 15 kilometers makes 4.5 minutes. Let's just say 5 minutes. So we would be there at 12.05, right? Wrong! Okay. Stop right there, criminal scum. Why would there be so much trash on a bridge? Oh. What do we have here then? Someone spent some time smoking here. Wait a minute. Why this are they shaking so much? I used to smoke these too. Uh, only did he just self pwn uh, Hans, are you the human trebuchet? It's you, isn't it? Look at you, you're even shaking. Yeah, there's a petrol station not far from here. The pack is probably from there. The trail may not be very fresh anymore, but we should follow it all the same. Yes, we should. Good work, Hans. Hello, uh, you work here at the petrol station, right? No, may he's I wearing the green uniform Hello? because women love the color. My two sons and I have operated the petrol station for more than 10 years. <laughs> ten years? You don't even look like you're ten years old. This rare brand of cigarettes. Yes, that's correct. There used to be more demand for it, but these days we only sell it rarely. How often have you sold this brand in the last week? Exactly once. Some How convenient. Tell me, your petrol station has CCTV cameras, right? Could you give us a picture of the buyer? Of course. That's why we have this system. Give me a few minutes. He's running away, isn't he? No, he's not. Okay. Yeah, great. The most useless photo since the invention of photography. 
Hot off the photo printer. Thanks. This will really help us. It's a shame you can only see half of his face. But and that house is ugly AF. <laughs> Wait, maybe I have a candy bar or something. Nope, just the confiscated dope. Oh well, lay the bitch. Hmm, let's see what the colleagues are doing. <laughs> like a stalker. Is there a problem? Well, that sounds like a you problem. Uh, can I have a time for a donut? I'd like one of those, please. Here you go. I hope you enjoy it. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> They do look nice though. They do look nice. What did you find out? We followed a lead and at least got a photo of the suspect as a result. Good work. This is a start. As soon as a we have start. more information, we'll take he, he up the sent case me again. over there with Getting nothing the but someone threw rocks heart. from the so bridge. I got him a photo within several hours. What the hell? Activities. I'm the best cop ever, bitch. Just in. A lorry has driven into a bridge support and now it's in danger of collapsing. Uh, how is this my problem? We're on route. Okay, so. First things first. Traffic cones. We have time, don't worry. Okay, securing the evidence. Bing bing bang bang bing bing bing. Okay, let's do some nature photography. Of course, a female drive. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. No, oh, that's going to be expensive. Oh, there's a ducky. Wait, it's Agent 47. Hans, get in the car. We're leaving. Hello, what happened here? Talk about stupid. This had to happen to me. Well, oh, yeah, man. because uh, you're an idiot. So take a deep breath and explain how this happened. Okay, yes. So while I was driving, I heard a funny noise and I saw in my wing mirror that I was losing my load. I was so terrified, I not only jammed on the brakes, I whipped the steering wheel around too. And before I knew it, I had crashed into the bridge. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. The new worker must have been sloppy. He was in charge of the loading. You do know that as the driver of the vehicle, you are ultimately responsible for the safety of the load. Yes. Bitch. Oh, I'm so sorry. Nice We're try. Here. You and your employer will definitely still hear from us regarding the incident. But first, go and recover. Thanks. Yeah, that was the game. I didn't cut anything here. We'll oh, check this out. Klaus gets out and he's back in. <laughs> Why? Talk to the driver and take a look at his load. Oh, I will. Is this a standard procedure for immobilized vehicles? No, it isn't, but it complies with an unwritten rule. And what would that be? Follow your instincts. Got it. Will do. Oh my god. Sir, I'm here to look at your um load. Hello? Why have you stopped? Hello? The tractor won't go anymore. I think there's something wrong with the engine. This location is not completely safe. It's good that you set up your warning light anyway. Have you called the breakdown service yet? Yes. They should be here in a few minutes. Could I take a look at your load? Why? Well... Why are you so Thanks. suspicious, Mr. Shaky Man? Let's see what he's hiding. What's that? What do we have here? 
Look at this. Could be interesting. What do you want with that piece of cloth? Well, I'm following my instincts. Your words. I'll talk to the driver again. Is he like human human trafficking? Oh, this goddamn camera, man. So, everything seems to be in order with your load, but we found this on one of the boxes. A piece of cloth? Yes, and? What do you mean, and? Where's the rest? Whose shirt is this? It looks like a piece of shirt to me. Have you injured yourself, perhaps? What? No, no. I'm completely fine. Maybe one of my colleagues tore their shirt while loading the vehicle. Do you mind if I take it with me? The cloth? No. Help yourself. Thanks. Just make sure that you get your lorry out of here. And be careful until the breakdown service gets here. Goodbye. Yes, I'll do that. And he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Erst da am Einsatzort. That's fine, that's fine. Car 11 here, real volunteer. I'll take care of checking the personal details before you speak to the people. You say that meantime, every time, Hans. Take care of something else. <laughs> this looks so weird. This guy looks sketchy AF. Oh shit, the stone. Interesting. These paving stones are often used for surfacing autobahn stops. Unfortunately, there are too many construction sites to follow the trail directly. Okay, let's just go home then. Hello. How are you? Are you okay? Yes. I'm okay. You're in shock. So I want to make this as quick as possible. Tell us what you saw. Every detail is helpful. Ha! Thank you for your statement. The ambulance should be here any minute and they'll take care of you. And by take care, I mean... Hello. Could you perhaps describe to me how the accident happened? Yes, of course. That's so the face of a liar. I saw a quick movement. Something small and dark flying through the air. I was thinking, that bird is flying strangely. What? Then I heard a crashing sound and saw the car in front of me slamming on the brakes. Of course, I instinctively braked immediately, but wasn't able to stop in time. A bird. You mixed up a stone with a bird. Are you high? No. I thought it was a bird at first. Of course, you always read about people throwing stones onto the autobahn, but you don't ever expect anything like that. Did you perhaps see anything else of interest? We were at a rest stop not far from here, and they were paving new parking spaces there. The stones there looked just like the one that caused this accident. It could just be a coincidence, but I wanted to tell you in any case. Thanks. So you're saying That's the stone that you saw looked you like a stone? Once again, lots of cigarette butts. And they're the same brand. This certainly isn't a coincidence. This is our guy. And this time he's hit a vehicle. We need to catch him before something worse happens. Like oh, what? Throw two stones? Look at these huge ass cigarettes. They're almost as big as my shoe. Yo, listen up. I have to do something more important. You will clean this mess up, got it? What is this? What the hell are you doing? Hans, get the front buffer. Are you drunk? Are you high? Let's see. Stop your vehicle, criminal scum. 
<laughs> okay. No way. Even our wind turbines are synced. <laughs> Look at that. Are you the stone throwing guy? Wait, he has a slightly darker skin color. Hans, get your baton ready. <laughs> Hello. May I ask you a few questions? Hi, of course. Have I done something wrong? No. Yes. But you might be able to help us with the case. Oh, okay. Well then. Fire away. Did you see anyone helping themselves to the pile of paving stones here? Well, they don't get counted, of course, but I did actually see something. Some guy was sneaking around the construction site not that long ago. When he saw me, he got into his car quickly and drove off. There was something not quite right about him. <gasps> was he a monster? Was it this person by any chance? Mm, yes, that's him. He was also wearing the same jacket as in the photo. Well, look at that. Sir, sir, I got news. Sir, 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 I got news. Sir, 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 I got news. Sir, I got news. At last, we're making progress. We have a photo of the suspect and a description of the vehicle. Well done. Thanks, boss. In any case, we need to stay on this before anything worse happens. I believe we'll soon be needing the computer video evaluation room. Why do I have to upgrade the police station by myself? What the hell? Oh my god, that's a shooting range. Okay, where's the coffee machine? Hey, we have something for you again. Someone has just reported a suspicious vehicle that looks like it has bullet holes in it. What? I can't imagine that they're really bullet holes, but we should investigate the matter. Huh, sounds like something from a film. We'll check it out straight away. But first, the shooting range. Ah, there it is. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the animation, man. Okay. Look at the animation. Who made this? Why is the gun here and the muzzle flash here? Who made this? Are you kidding me? All you have to do is to parent the effect to the gun model. You can literally watch a 10 minute YouTube tutorial to not make this kind of mistake. That's it? That's What's the point of the shooting range? Gay! I've just noticed that it's getting dark again, so I'm working for more than <laughs> 24 hours now. There. That seems to be the car. It's probably better if you take a closer look. Got it. Keep me covered, partner. Oh my god, why is the animation so bad? Him, but just be careful. If he has bullet holes in his car, he might be armed too. And I'd quite like to make it into retirement. Don't worry, Klaus. I'm not worried at all. About you. <laughs> stop your vehicle. If you don't stop right now, your punishment will be death by catapult. Okay, let's go. You're under arrest. You're coming with us to the station. Oh, that was quick. Where are the bullet holes? There's not a single bullet hole here. If they find a car without bullet holes at the station, I'm gonna get into trouble. <laughs> they just keep it in an open garage next to the sidewalk, okay. Oh my god, I've accidentally arrested the baker. Okay, I'll just close the door. Hans, I'm ready. Switch off the camera for two minutes. So, Mr. Walter, you've caused a lot of trouble. Running from the police, resisting arrest, 
and we found not only bullet holes in your car, but also a large quantity of drugs. You appear to lead a very exciting life. Tell us something about it. Don't I have the right to a solicitor? If you want you to have the right to a water border. Yes, but the evidence is clearly against you, and so you should be as cooperative as possible. Mm. Okay. Then ask you your You idiot. Questions. Rule number one, dummy. Don't trust the cops. Who do the drugs in your boot belong to? No comment. As you wish. <laughs> okay, that was easy. Where did the bullet holes in your vehicle come from? Yeah, a difference of opinion with a client. From a drug deal gone wrong? Exactly. What were you doing there before you did a runner on us? Business, of course. So you use the Autobahn toilets for your drug deals? Autobahn toilets are known as a place where there isn't much snooping around. So they're ideal for people like me. Ah, that's good to know. <laughs> it's good to know. Yes, especially as a police officer. I've got all the information I need. Thanks for your cooperation. <laughs> the snipers can shoot him now. I'll just leave this door open. What could go wrong? Sir, I got something, sir. Sir, sir, I got news, sir. Sir, I got something, sir. I want to congratulate you on the arrest. That was good work. Thanks. But there's probably more to it. The interrogation revealed that the Autobahn toilets are a popular drug dealing spot. We'll definitely keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, God. Here's something else for you. Doesn't seem to be anything special. A lorry briefly lost control and has scraped along the crash barrier. Take a look. We're on route. The owner of the vehicle claims that his fuel gauge was defective and he wanted to check the fuel level using a match. Hey, he's behind the barrier. Really good. I'll take care of checking the personal details. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. The people. Hello, can you tell me what happened? A deer suddenly jumped onto the road and I... Oh, really? Where is the deer? Then I clipped the crash barrier. I see. So, we have minor bodywork and paint damage. And which way did the deer go? It went back into the forest on the other side. Good. Are you full of it shit? Sound so bad. But I smell alcohol. Uh oh oh. Could I see your driving license? Of course. Here you go. And now, Mr. Keish, could you please answer my question? Well, yes, but I've only had a couple of beers. Huh? I'm so sorry. Got him. It has nothing ah. to do with the accident. Got him. It was my fault. <laughs> I'd now like you to carry out a breathalyzer test. All right. Okay, please blow. Wow. Your breath alcohol concentration is 0 0.55 parts per thousand. Although it's close, it's still too much. Oh, come on. What do you mean, come on? Van. My family and I depend on this job. You should have thought of that before. You drive for a living and shouldn't drink at all. You're right. It was stupid <laughs> of me. It will never happen again. Please, have a heart. Yeah, it was only 0.05 above the limit, so in that case, nah. No, bitch. I can't do that. There's no getting out of the ticket. Oh no! If I lose my job, my wife will leave me. Go what cry, emo kid. Straight to the gulag. <laughs> Straight to the jail. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I fucked him up real good. Oh man, you can go now, it was just a joke, it's just a joke you can go. <laughs> You've done the right thing. I was sorry for him too, but we are responsible for making sure that no other people are injured, despite our empathy. Don't look so depressed. What empathy? I'm proud of you. Hey, there's another urgent job. It's about that lunatic who likes throwing stones down onto the autobahn. He's active again. Seems Hans, he's get ready. He's again. back. It's not yet clear how the driver of the car is doing. Just hurry. You'll probably be the first ones on the scene. We're on route. <gasps> that was him.
Unfortunately, there's no time for a manhunt because we are on VLC duty. Oh, damn, son. Look at these idiots. Yo, there's a guy bleeding in the car. What the hell are you doing? Take care of the driver of the affected car immediately. A stone went straight through her windscreen. Got it. Thank you. We'll set off straight away. We'll set off straight away. Hello. Glad that you came. I saw some of what happened with this accident. I'm Konrad, by the way. Konrad Schneider. Well, What's then, wrong with you? What did you say? Do we need to you make a drug test? Konrad Schneider? I'm so glad that I can finally be of assistance to you. Then help oh, us great. Now. One of these what exactly guys. Did you see? Oh, yes, yes. Of course. Um, I'm sorry. So, I'm fairly sure that I saw the perpetrator. Well, Are you in a dance I mean, craze right now? Of course. Did you see this man? Yes, exactly. That is the guy. This will definitely help us. Could you see the suspect's vehicle? Yes, he was driving a green ATV. Did you see the suspect's number plate? Of course. <gasps> I even wrote it down and remembered it. It is NISBT83. Are you sure? Yes, definitely. I'm, I'm German and I never forget a detail. He drove off so slowly that he had to be up to something. And as a good citizen, you record important information, of course. Thank you. That's very helpful. That's everything, then. Thank you for your statement, Konrad. Uh, there's one more thing. Look at this. I found it on the bridge. <laughs> good. Is this evidence? Oh, uh, but, um, <clears throat> well, I thought you can't take any fingerprints from a, a, a stone like this anyway. Jeez, oh, Conrad, think about it. If I've done something wrong, I didn't mean to. I only wanted to help. Listen, you're not a policeman. You're only an eyewitness. Bitch. Understand? And if you're interested in police work, you should know that you never intentionally interfere with a crime scene. Ah, yes, you're right. I'm really embarrassed. I only wanted to help. Why are you still standing around? Good work. We've already checked the number plate and it does indeed belong to a green 4x4. However, the vehicle was reported stolen several days ago. We have to catch this fellow. We need the computer evaluation video room to make progress on this case. Of course. That looks quite nice, actually. <laughs> Endlich backen. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a doorstop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is so weird. They they modeled all of this, but they didn't bother to populate the street like at all. No vehicles, no nothing. Also, why are all the lights on at 3 a.m.? <laughs> nice. I'll take care of checking the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, are you stuck? Uh, sucks for you. Later, bitch. Hello, Mr. Bergman. I'm sure it won't be much longer until the fire service arrives to free you. Or the firing squad. What? What? Your door is stuck. Is that right? I'm trying to remain calm. And you're doing very well. I can see that you have a head wound. Apart from that, how are you feeling? I'm a little bit shaky, but otherwise, almost too good. I don't have any pain or anything. Oh, no, don't worry. Trembling. The pain will be there any it's second now. And it's why you're not feeling any pain. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yes. I don't have anything better to do right now. Can you describe <laughs> the accident for me? What a we giga chat. Jam. Nothing was moving in any of the lanes. Suddenly, I saw a lorry driving between the lanes in my wing mirror. And then everything happened really quickly. It plowed through the cars, pushing them to the right and left. My car was a car, and then for a brief moment, I couldn't remember anything. <laughs> okay, thank you for your statement. The fire service will be here at any moment. 
They'll certainly be able to get you out of here. Okay, that was a weird siren. Uh, don't worry, sir. It's uh, just a little head wound. Uh, nothing too serious. Okay. Bing, 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 bong, bing, bing. Hello, Mr. Fiedler. Fiedler. Are you okay? Could I speak to you for a moment, please? Yes, I'm okay. Physically, at least. How could this happen to me? Please go on. <laughs> yes, How okay. could this happen so to him? I'm on my way to accept a new job. I can't explain it. My mind must have wandered off. Mm -hmm. But in any case, I didn't see the end of the traffic jam until it was much too late. How is that possible? Here on this straight road? I couldn't say. What? If I were to check the driving times in your cockpit, what would I find? Nothing out of the ordinary. Listen, my partner's gonna check them in a moment anyway. At least I'm giving you the chance to come off well in my report. So, what'd you say? Yeah, all right. Uh -huh. I did exceed the driving times by quite a bit. Our boss encourages us not to comply with the driving times. Anyone who does it anyway doesn't remain a driver with us for very long. And I need the job. I oh yeah? Do you need your life? Because I'm about to take it. You're lucky no one was killed. Do you know what I think? You nodded off at the wheel. Nodded off? No, definitely not. I can see what you just your said you did. And you only started to brake shortly before you hit the traffic jam. You plowed between the cars virtually without braking. What do you expect me to say? I expect you to say... I know the vacuum cleaner man. He's seen my tits. But you'll have to answer for this. And so will your boss as well. Personally, I'd like to wish you all the best. But make sure that nothing like this ever happens again. Ever. Again. Oh, that looks like a new evidence room. That's the evidence room? Could you really not spend another 30 minutes on this room? Jesus. Uh, I needed something else, right? Oh, silver car, okay. Oh, hello. <gasps> she can talk. Someone visits me down here. I've evaluated the footage from the Autobahn cameras and I've identified a pattern. The vehicle we're looking for has been on roughly the same stretch of road at around the same time every day for the last few days. Oh, <laughs> by the way, what an idiot. It should be easier if you travel in your civilian vehicle. Just a little tip from me. Oh, I thought she's just down here to like cool off or something. But I guess that's how the devs uh, decided the IT guy or IT girl should look like. Was this game like literally made by 70 year olds? Oh yeah, let's go. Operation Hanswurst begins. Oh shit, there he is. Oh, it, it's not. Oh, it is him. <laughs> this is so dumb. Stop right there, criminal scum. Okay guys, I have to warn you, what you are about to see cannot be unseen. This is quite possibly the best animation that you have ever seen in, in any game. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? You're under arrest. You're coming with us to the station. <laughs> he looks evil too. Okay, time to go back to the station and polish the trusty old nightstick. This guy will be resisting for sure. Good news, everyone. Fantastic work. This case was our number one priority, and you have delivered results. This really is a milestone for us. Go next door, 
Leonie wants to speak to you. And something else. We will need the meeting room quite soon as a cooperation. <laughs> why, do I, why do I have to the finance office. the whole station myself? Leonie, you wanted to um talk? Good to see you. The stone thrower has kept not only all catapults, toes, but also the press in the area, and you arrested him. For this reason, I'd like you to attend the press conference about the arrest. We are pleased oh, to shit, okay. his colleagues from the Autobahn police have arrested the infamous stone thrower. It is thanks to employees like these that our Autobahns are once again a bit Wait, his name is Haas? Has oh, wait, his name is Hans Haas? How much is the conference? Oh, Jesus. This will take a while to farm for sure. Oh man, that will be so stressful to farm all these points to buy the conference room. I will have to work so hard. That's was. Good to see you. Stay here. Customs are asking for our help, and we have a meeting with them in a moment. It's about a case of arms smuggling. Ooh. I'd like to introduce you to Petra Schäfer. She's a colleague from Customs. <laughs> I, I have heard more stereotypical you, German names Customs in the last two hours of this game than I have in the last 20 years in living in Germany. For this reason, we would like to inspect a large number of lorries in a joint operation to hopefully find one of these vehicles. Stop, bitch. Hello, this is a lorry inspection. Could I please take a look <laughs> the at the camera? Dude, Go who? Ahead. Why? 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 I will see about that. What? Oh, look at that. Wait, what happened? A teddy bear and a small shoe? Wait, is that... Is there child trafficking in this game? That escalated quickly. So, I'm back again. Your container was empty except for these two things. What's up with the teddy bear and the shoe? Well, that's not illegal, is it? No, of course not. That is literally what I would expect a guilty person to well, say. I had old clothes in my container and this must have been left behind. Precisely. Ah, okay. I'm sure you won't have any objection to us keeping these two items, will you? No, go ahead. Good, that's it then. No need for documents and a further vehicle inspection at this time. At have this time. First of all, press F. Hello, we're currently conducting a sample check of lorries. On this <laughs> He's just looking device. straight at the truck door while he talks to the driver. Hello, go ahead, but please make it quick. I've got an appointment. Thank you very much. This won't take long. <laughs> he hid it in the very last crate. The crate someone would open first. What is going on? So, did you get what you needed? Oh yes, we got it all right. You're coming to the station with us. What? Why? Is something wrong? <laughs> you could say that, yes. These weapons that you're transporting, where are they from? Weapons? What weapons? Stop playing, bitch. I don't know anything about any weapons. The lorry will be seized and we're taking you down to the station. There's a colleague from customs waiting there who you can tell everything to. And as always, I'll just leave the evidence here. I'm sure no one would ever take the guns and ammunition. Even at my age, I'd still manage to land the big fish. Uh, sorry, I mean we, of course. See, Hans, you're never too old for a big fish. Hey, don't get cheeky with me. Looks like we have our suspect. The whole cargo area was full of weapons. Good work. Obviously, you were on the right track. Yes. Thanks to you, we've been able to take a lot of weapons out of circulation. But we'll take it from here. Well, this sounds like there is way more to this case than we can handle on this episode. So stay tuned, because the next episode of Autobahn Polizei is definitely coming. 
So it's obviously not a super good game. So is it bad? It's worse. To me, being bad is not the worst thing. Your game can be way worse than being a bad game is a half-assed game. Imagine a scale from 1 to 10. You have the good games, the bad games, and the ones in the middle. And then there's, at least to me, there's this one tiny hole on the scale. If your game lands here, I'm not happy. I'm not sad. I am angry. I'm angry that you didn't care when I know you could have. I'm angry that you didn't try when I know you could have. I'm angry that you put this game out there knowing how close it is to a good game. And not only did you still release it, you had the audacity to never patch it and instead to just say, yep, we are done here. Let's move on to the next game, guys. You're not done here, motherfucker. Z Software, the game studio making this game, is seated in Dortmund, Germany. Most of the devs, probably German. And that's exactly the problem. There's this thing about present Germany that keeps my blood boiling. The German people, and I have been living here for more than 30 years, I know these motherfuckers. They are like dead inside. Passion is the most foreign word to them. They used to overcome all of this by being efficient, but this ball is long gone. Just a ex-girlfriend who will never return. You are so close. There are many good mechanics in this game. They're fun. The driving, which I thought would be the worst part of the game, surprisingly fun. The animations and dialogue are like one of these cute cats that unfortunately got brain damaged and now their tongue is hanging out, but it looks so cute and you can't not love them. How can you be so close to a good game and just stop working on it? If you had invested even another month or two, I'm telling you guys, this game would have sold so many more copies. The, the camera controller. Whoever is responsible for the camera controller in this game and the boss who waved it through. I mean, you know it doesn't work. You know it doesn't work. When I bought this game, I did it as a joke. It's called Autobahn Polizei, for God's sake. I bought this game as a joke and still care more about this game than Z Software does.